What you're seeing is a rarity for the Bainbridge Fire Department. Uh, Tyrone, take the hydrant. Three firefighters on one truck. Two professionals, one volunteer. Something that doesn't happen often. So the training that our firefighters have to have. Drill night every Tuesday night. Volunteers included is, is tremendous. Four Tuesdays a month. It's a profession where every second counts and every body is put to work. And when you do have a big disaster, you have resources available in the community. We're ass approaching. Traditionally, volunteer firefighters are picked from the community, but not in this case. They're looking elsewhere. There is a shortage of volunteers on the island, absolutely. And that's something we're striving to basically overcome. Chief Hank Terran is on a mission to fill volunteer positions on his island. Something he's doing by actively recruiting outside the city and in some cases, even paying a $1,000 a month stipend to those that qualify. Volunteers who do very real work. If there's a seat right in this fire engine here for a volunteer. And I would say probably 90% of our shifts go by without a volunteer sitting in the seat. But the work doesn't stop, even if they're understaffed. That's what we saw. Two medical calls within minutes of each other. That's Tyrone Klein, a trained volunteer that hopes to make a career of this one day. Today, he's on the same trucks, responding to the same calls that the paid crews are responding to. One of the biggest challenges is using the existing resources to their advantage. In this case, that means using the ferry system to get patients who need it off the island and into the hospital as quickly as possible. And that's exactly what happened in this case. Both patients are loaded up and rushed to catch the next ferry bound for a Seattle hospital. But volunteerism runs in our blood. Service is a calling, and this chief is looking for more people to answer that call. On Bainbridge Island, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.